that up again? He's put his heart and soul in that character. Oh, why do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, honestly. However, we are hopping into game one here on Pokemon Stadium 2, the traditional starter that we all love. Yeah. Now, this set's going to be it's a very... I can already tell, by the way, Anti's charging up that flood. This is going to be a very patient, slow set. What Anti's going to want to do is find cracks in the armor where, where Sinji's not setting up his items properly. And he really just wants to stay in, in Sinji's face as much as he can. Pac-Man does have a lot of quick aerials to get out. Uh, great options out of shield like Nair, Fair. However, Anti has the combo game, and if he gets his hand on Sinji, it can be very detrimental to him. Yeah, and that's a, that's a common misperception, I think, in gaming, is that staying in <laughs> someone's face doesn't necessarily mean being overly aggressive and overextending yourself. It just means uh, closing down space and making sure that they're weighing their options a little bit more than they might otherwise. And Anti, as cerebral player as he can be, is uh, very well equipped to deal with that. However, uh, perhaps the, uh, the ace in the lineup of Deadly Alliance, Sinji, will have to see how he copes with it. Seems to be setting a lot of hydrants. He is one to do that, but... It's, it's, it's really characteristic. Aetai seems to know a good amount about the matchup already. He's not focusing the Hydra super hard, and he's using Cape to reflect the projectiles back at him quite a bit. If you if you can play Sinji's game against him and not get destroyed doing it, you're already in the right place when you fight this matchup. Gets right back to the ledge. Curious here that side. Be that <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. That was slick. That was a great Cape. Yep. Yeah. And that was a statement for stock. Yeah, I see your bell. You can have it right back. But I do kind of wonder, I mean, he's going to want to use that bell. I feel like more than anything as an anti-air, just a no pun intended, just to uh, just to make sure that he's not jumping in on him, use, utilizing that forward air or back air uh, or raw back air. I like I like what, uh, what Sinji's doing also. He's kind of taking a few seconds. Wow, that was almost a kill. He's also taking a few seconds to try to just pedal back and stay away from it. So I think is Sinji's going to be playing his game for most of the time. Pac-Man kind of tries to keep the game at a certain pace. Oh. That was sick. That was actually so sick. Caught Anti uh, pressing a few too many buttons and almost was made to pay for it. However, Anti stays alive at 133 and makes it back to stage. Back air keeps himself in advantage. Anti's just been doing a great job of staying in Sinji's face oh. the entire time. Gosh. He's not really been going. And he's also been trying to lock down Sinji quite a bit too. These fireballs are forcing Sinji to stay in shield because he really can't. He needs that buffer time to charge the fruit and maybe deploy a Hydra here and there. And Anti seems to know this matchup fairly well. We're seeing yeah, we're that payout to be. Yeah, and that, that's the trouble with sitting in shield. It makes you susceptible to a lot of grabs. Anti, well aware of that. And one more back throw ought to do it. But then again. Uh, why back throw when an up smash does the job just as well? I just realized we're in top 32 as well. Awesome. We're out here. I don't, I don't know how many matches we're, we're going to hear in top 32, but I'm pretty excited. Oh, wow. I'm that excited. <laughs> just plants it on his head right there. And it makes you wonder what is in store for the rest of these, uh, for the rest of, for the rest of the tournament, really, since we're already in top 32, winner's side, anti versus Sinji. Just goes to show how deep the talent pool is uh, in Tri-State in general. Seriously. Because, I mean, these are names that are known around the world. And they're just kind of chilling here in New York, like with us. Like, they're gooning. Straight Absolutely. up. Anti looks so comfortable right now in this matchup. I really don't see Sinji being able to take this unless he switches how he's approaching it a little bit. Anti's just been making sure to lock Sinji down, stay in his face. And he's, he's been not letting Sinji dictate the pace of the match. He's been kind of playing along, and he's been able to capitalize every single time Sinji gets in a position where he's too defensive. Yeah, it's almost like Sinji is trying to drive too slow in the passing lane, but it's right. anti kind of tailgating, making He's him push right a little bit him. along. Exactly. Ooh, oh, and the bell right to the miss, face. The missed time on the cape is going to cost anti that soccer dance. Sinji, Sinji, no slouch. He, Sinji isn't exactly a momentum-based player, but he is able to to use his survivability to his advantage when he's uh, when he's trying to equalize those stops. Jab by anti. Sinji on the ledge will be made to come back with that hydrant. Oof. All right, here we go. Catching the landing. Yeah, Sinji loves to you catch the You thought he was about to throw him into the hydrant. If he's no, if he, if, if I was, I was expecting Sinji to really catch the landing. Every single time that Anti lands, he loves to catch with the fruit. Every single time. It's, it's been it's been working out really well. Sinji's actually slowly, slowly bringing this way back. Anti doesn't seem to have as many answers. Whether Sinji's tightened up his defense or Anti's overextending quite a bit, not being able to find cracks in the armor, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's working. Galaga pops up. I'm going to say Sinji's tightening up his defense, honestly. Because Anti seems to have the same game plan when approaching every single time, which is jump in. 
But Sinji's been able to just keep a respectable distance between him and Anti. Sinji. Been, uh, oh. Big, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> no spark or anything. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, hey, like I said, you live by the jank, you die by the jank. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> there was a there was a lot going on. There was a spaceship. There was a fire hydrant. It honestly sounds like a it honestly sounds like a fever dream. But uh, like outside of the context of Smash, it sounds a little messed up. And Anti checking his phone, just like on Tinder, like nah, 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 Sinji, nah, nah. My man, my man, swiping out here. Yeah, no, don't uh, don't don't contact him. Are we seeing a character switch or is this man insane? No, he's not. He's not. Is he? No. No, he's going back to Mario. Mario. Yeah, why would why would he switch? He was he looked so so comfortable in just maintaining that fair amount of space between him and Sinji. I really didn't see a switch coming anytime soon. Sinji's gonna have even more space to work with if we go to town and city for game number two. I definitely agree with this pick. Uh, just in terms of how much room it gives him, and Anti is going to have to really measure out how uh, he's going to have to concentrate more so than anything else on staying in the face of Sinji. Sinji is uh, going to have to work on his wow. punish game a little bit in the face of one of the best Marios on the face of the planet. Is, again, Anti just taking the match at his own pace. He's not running in too much, which I love to see. You really want to take it slow against Pac-Man. Running in a lot. Sa same thing with Sinji. Sinji's doing a great job of just keeping his defense tight and getting getting these little hits in where Anti seems to be dropping his guard. Try <laughs> he, cl he clanked with the uh, with the Galaxian. Not gonna be able to get anything. Sinji doing such a better job this game of just keeping Anti out. He's playing. <laughs> I'm mean, playing reindeer games with him. Hang on, is it not the Galaga? Or is it Galaxian? It's the Galaxian. It is a Galaxian. Galaga is the. Um, That's another company, isn't it? No, Galaga is the. What's it called? It's it's the little. It's the item. It's like this green little eight bit item that. Oh, okay. okay. It, it's like a UFO. It like it levitates you up and takes you away. I will. You That's know what? The Galaga I'll, is. I'll take that out. I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay with it. Sinji Dark, okay, belt. yes, that's, that's another good thing Sinji does. Sinji baits you with the Hydrant every single time, and he'll charge up to the key all the way. The minute you start attacking that Hydrant, you drop that shield, he will throw that key right at you to get that kill. It's strange. I mean, I don't think that, uh, I don't know if Sinji was expecting for that belt to hit. He looked uh, not ready, but he was there for the Nair, eventually to get Anti off stage. But at 185%, Anti still looking like he's in control of this match. Helper. Yeah, and I don't think he'll uh, he'll complain about that first stock at all. City didn't shield down there to get him out of it. It's 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 really oh wow that was such a great setup there, Sinji. Yes, yeah, Sinji throwing the fruit upward and baiting Anti to get into the trampoline, which will send you up regardless. Basically, aiding a trip combo right there. That was so sick by Sinji. Catches yeah. him with the Isaac Newt. The thing the thing about playing against Pac-Man is that he, you have to know the setups and. Yeah. You really need to not fall for the same thing twice. Sinji's really good at chipping in, so that just makes him the, the good player he is. But most of these kills will be based off of predetermined setups that he'll be doing a lot. And, and they're very simple to avoid, you just have to be very careful. It's almost like the Kung Fu master making a fool of his uh <laughs> making a fool of his students. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. no, you will learn. You gotta learn. You will it, learn it, Wax on, wax off, anti son <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great catch, yeah, that's gonna aid him a lot. It, it's not only an added bonus that, <laughs> excuse my pun there, but it's not only an added, added bonus that aerials can just catch projectiles. So you're really not going wrong by throwing out an aerial at any point. I, I definitely agree with the up there by Anti. A little overzealous, but Sinji, Pac-Man really can't, he needs like a Galaxian to get a major punish started. He can get little things started, but in the air, not many combos are going to be done. That Galaxian just blew. He's dead off that back door. Anti doing such a great job of just remaining patient. I don't know if it's best of five currently, but since he might be looking at his last stock of winner's side, he just uh, pulls something together and tighten up that defense. Bell is re-grabbed by Sinji as he tries to get something going against Anti, who again, I mean, even when it seemed like uh, seemed like the odds were going against him, Anti does a pretty good job of turning garbage into gold and eventually, turning things around into his favor. I mean, remember, he took that first stock at a, he was sitting at 185%. We could be talking about a very, very different game. In fact, we could be talking about where he's going for his counter pick in game three. One thing I like a ton that Anti is doing is that he's not sitting in shield too long. Every single time that he's sitting in shield for about two seconds, he'll jump. 
And there's really no way for Sinji to nab a kill off that unless he nails like a good enough back air at a high enough percent. The bell is not going to be able to reach high enough for a, a, a good enough conversion because Sin it, it, you have a very small window to set up for that. Actually could have gotten the kill there, but he, I think he just wanted to do more. You really, really have to be on point with your capitalizations if you're playing Pac-Man. And, and Sin normally... Sinji Wow, really anti, anti is doing, that guy, yeah. He's doing such a good job of making it so hard for Sinji to get anything. The few, the few kill setups that Sinji has had, Anti hasn't given him too much room on it. And the winner of this one, by the way, would go on to face the winner of Sam Sora versus Why Do Bad Things Happen to Good People. Wow, okay. That's yeah, that's fun. Big time matchup for uh, for Bad Things. Big potential for, uh, for the young man. Has an apple in his hand, looking to utilize it. The man's about to go full steam jobs on him. Not gonna die just yet. Yeah, Pac-Man struggled. This is kind of where for Pac-Man struggles to kill a little bit. If Sinji can't find some sort of guaranteed setup, he's gonna need a grab or some sort of back air. But Anti is just not letting him get it. I'm no. pretty sure most fruits would kill at this point, except for probably like cherry. Apple will definitely kill. Melon will kill. We saw apple kill in yeah. fact earlier on in this game. It's it's but one of the the two primary uh, kill fruits, I'd say. That was an excellent job, just, just waiting just for like in real Sinji life. to jump. Yeah, he knew Sinji was gonna jump right out of there, and Anti taking that stock. Pretty damn quickly. Yeah, so that is Anti going up two to nil against I was texting Deadly Anti Lines. looking so poised this tournament. I, I could, I could, if he keeps playing like this, I could genuinely see Anti winning this tournament.